Today, I learned that after Colonel Sanders sold KFC, he still made surprise visits to KFC restaurants. If the food disappointed him, he denounced it as goddamn slop or knock it on the floor. In 1973, KFC's owner sued him for libel after he publicly called their gravy sludge with a wallpaper taste. Few names are as synonymous with fast food as Colonel Harlan Sanders, the founder of Kentucky Fried Chicken, KFC. Even after selling his beloved restaurant chain, he continued to play an active role in its operation and was known for making surprise visits to KFC restaurants, assessing the food, and voicing his opinions loud and clear. Colonel Sanders was a larger-than-life figure, with a passion for his secret fried chicken recipe that would change the fast food landscape forever. In 1952, Sanders made a significant move in his culinary journey by franchising his secret recipe for the first time. Pete Harmon, the operator of a prominent restaurant in South Salt Lake, Utah, was the first to take up the opportunity. To everyone's surprise, the introduction of Kentucky Fried Chicken on his menu resulted in a remarkable increase in restaurant sales, with most of the boost coming from the sales of this mouth-watering fried chicken. The concept of a product hailing from Kentucky, the heart of Southern hospitality, was unique and appealing to customers, further enhancing its popularity. The name Kentucky Fried Chicken was coined by Don Anderson, a sign painter hired by Harmon. With the successful launch of the franchise, more restaurant owners wanted to be part of the KFC phenomenon. Sanders charged them a mere four cents per chicken, an amount that would be equivalent to 44 cents in 2022. Little did anyone know that this humble start would pave the way for a fast food empire that would span the globe. However, success doesn't always come without challenges. After the opening of the North Corbin site, Colonel Sanders faced a significant setback when the newly constructed Interstate 75 reduced customer traffic to his restaurant. At the age of 65, he decided to sell the restaurant, leaving him with just his savings and a modest income from Social Security. Undeterred, Sanders embarked on an ambitious mission to franchise his chicken concept nationwide. He traveled tirelessly across the United States, offering to cook his famous chicken at various restaurants and negotiating franchise rights. Despite the exhausting efforts, Sanders' determination paid off and potential franchisees soon began approaching him instead. The franchise approach proved to be highly successful, and KFC became one of the first fast food chains to expand internationally. Outlets sprung up in Canada, the UK, Australia, Mexico, and Jamaica by the mid-1960s, solidifying KFC's position as a global fast food powerhouse. Sanders was not just a visionary entrepreneur, but also an inventor. In 1962, he obtained a patent for his method of pressure frying chicken, a technique that contributed to the signature taste and texture of KFC's chicken. He also trademarked the iconic phrase, It's Finger Licking Good, in 1963, a slogan that has become synonymous with the brand. Despite the company's unprecedented growth, Sanders found the rapid expansion overwhelming as he grew older. At the age of 73, he made the difficult decision to sell the Kentucky Fried Chicken Corporation for a substantial sum of $2 million to a group of Kentucky businessmen led by John Y. Brown Jr. and Jack C. Massey. Sanders remained involved in the company as a salaried brand ambassador, a testament to the respect he commanded from executives and franchisees alike. Throughout his tenure as the company's symbol, Colonel Sanders remained true to his roots and never hesitated to share his opinions, especially when it came to the quality of KFC's food. He continued making surprise visits to KFC restaurants, and if the food did not meet his standards, he would express his disapproval without reservation. Such visits garnered both respect and fear from those around him due to the force and variety of his swearing, as described by The New Yorker. In 1973, Sanders found himself at the center of a legal dispute with Hublin Incorporated, the parent company of Kentucky Fried Chicken, over the alleged misuse of his image in promoting products he had not been involved in creating. In turn, the company filed a libel lawsuit against him in 1975 after he publicly criticized their gravy as being sludge with a wallpaper taste. Despite the legal battles, 
Sanders' passion for his original recipe and commitment to quality never wavered. After parting ways with KFC, Colonel Sanders and his wife, Claudia, tried their hand at running their own restaurant named Claudia Sanders, the Colonel's Lady. They served KFC-style chicken alongside a full-service dinner menu, with ambitions of expanding the concept into a chain. However, their efforts led to a legal dispute with KFC, and Sanders eventually sold the restaurant. Today, the Claudia Sanders Dinner House continues to serve an authorized version of the Colonel's original recipe, making it the only non-KFC restaurant allowed to do so. Colonel Harlan Sanders passed away in 1980, leaving behind a lasting legacy that revolutionized the fast food industry. Kentucky Fried Chicken remains a global culinary icon thanks to the Colonel's passion, determination, and, of course, his secret fried chicken recipe. As we enjoy the familiar taste of KFC's crispy chicken today, it's a testament to the vision and dedication of the man who started it all, the Colonel himself. If you want to see which is the most profitable business in Iran, check out this video.